Well, good afternoon and a very warm welcome indeed. Hope you're keeping well. Lovely to have you with me. Fantastic to be with you. We are on a Wednesday afternoon. It's the 16th of August. And this, of course, is Peter Sandwich with you on my channel, which is Peter's Racing Tips. Great pleasure to be with you today. You're not going to be disappointed. You never are. I've got 100 to 1. Two bets, free double for you coming up, which are running at Windsor on Thursday evening. So a real big bet there, that's for sure. Uh, one's nine to one at the moment. The other one's 10 to one. So it's actually a little bit more than 100 to one. If either one wins, you're going to show a, a really handsome profit. And if both come up, you get yourself a nice big 100 to one payday. And they're coming up free of charge on this channel. No charge whatsoever. Absolutely free down to Larkin. Gratis, as they say. Also, I'm going to give you a big Irish bet on a horse running at Tremor uh, tomorrow night. And that one should be 10, 12, maybe 14 to 1. It's got a new jockey on who's replacing a jockey that, well, I didn't think he rode a very good race last time. But that's good for us because this horse tonight has been replaced by a jockey who's in great form and a jockey who's unheard of, really. Uh, but uh, he is very, very useful indeed, an apprentice. And I think you might ride a big winner for us at uh, uh, Tremor tomorrow night. So there's three bets I'm going to give you on this channel in just one moment. If you called through yesterday, two out of the three bets got us to the payout counter. Uh, I did put put up a big each way double up at Newcastle and uh, they both ran, both ran really, really well. Both finished second, actually. One at 15 to two and the other one was backed in from uh, seven to one into four to one and both finished second and ran very, very well indeed. So if you had the two each ways, you get your cash back and the each way double paid a uh, nice, healthy profit. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, with all that in mind, I'm going to give you these three bets in just one second. Just announced there is a non-runner uh, this afternoon. Time of broadcasting on this line is about 1.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I always come on way before 6 o'clock, but I'm always on by 6 o'clock the previous night for the following day's racing. So uh, tonight being Wednesday, uh, I'm previewing Thursday's action. So this 100 to 1 double runs at Windsor on Thursday night, as does the Tremor 12, 14 to 1 hot shot. And that's running at uh, Tremor on Thursday night as well. So on Wednesday, late afternoon, I gave you three bets last night. A uh, horse called Sagateur, it runs at Beverly, was going to run at Beverly, and I did fancy it very, very strongly indeed. But it's not going to post. It's been withdrawn. Uh, no idea what the reason is, but it doesn't make any difference, does it? It's not going down to the post. And so it just leaves the two horses at Gowran Park uh, tonight. Both fancied, both big ones, about 10 to 1 and 12 to 1, something like that. So again, it's another 100 to 1 uh, double for you at uh, tonight. I'm not going to go through them again. If you want it, go to the previous video and you will get those bets. But uh, I surmise that you've already got the bets anyway. But if you're new to the channel, go to yesterday's and you'll be able to hear them all again. It's in the vault. You just just click on them and you'll get it no problem at all. Now, I'm going to give this 100 to 1 double at Windsor in just one second. Not going to keep you long at all. And I've also got this big 14 to 1 poke at Tremor on a bit of a core specialist there who's won twice at that track before. And twice I've backed it and twice I've tipped it. So uh, stand by your beds. I'm going for number three with that one to land another big touch. 10 to 1 double digit plus is coming up. But... I want you to listen very carefully to me right now. I've got three horses at Leopardstown tomorrow night and also another at Tremor. They're all in big handicaps and I expect all of them to be around 10 to 1. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put all four bets on one line and it's the Emerald line. I'm going to give you a lucky 15, 10 to 1, 10 to 1, 10 to 1, 10 to 1. Any single, you're obviously going to get a nice return. Any double, you get 100 to 1. Any treble, you get 1,000 to 1. You get the lot up, you get a 10,000 to 1 roll up. If they're all in the frame, you're going to cop a right few quid, that's for sure. Nearly all these races, I think I'll be paying first four. And I'll be bitterly disappointed if we don't come out with a big, big win on the day. Four horses for £10 of the realm. That's it. It's not one horse, not two, not three. It's four horses, all on the Emerald Line, and they're all in Ireland. Three of them at Leopardstown and one of them at Tremor. There's one of these horses, and I'm going to put, when you when you buy it, when you invest the tenner, on the email what comes back to you after you've paid, I'm going to put NAP against it. It means I'm the strongest of the four, and it's the horse I know all about, and that's going to be a part of the package. Four bets, not one, two, three, four musketeers, four horses of the apocalypse, all for 10 quid. Four for a tenner. Works out at just £2.50 each. 
and you can put them in singles, double trebles, or even have your, your most famous bet, of course, the lucky 15. And uh, boy, oh boy, you've got a big chance of a real big jackpot payout. I've won some big payouts in my time on lucky 15s. And uh, this one has all the hallmarks, all the hallmarks of another big payday, that's for sure. One thing, if you're not on it, it won't be a big payday. Most people, let me just tell you, most people are jumping on these bets. Most people are coming on the Emerald bets. So if you're not on it, you're not on it. But most people have took the wise decision to jump on. So get yourselves on board. Be a part of the crowd. Most people are already on it. Four for a ten. And follow the instructions below. You just pay the ten pound into my bank. It's one to one. We're not dealing with PayPal. There's no PayPal. One to one. Me to you. You to me. The Chuckle Brothers. Once you've done that, you just need to email Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. It's all listed for you below. That's Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. And that's it. The email will come back to you uh, once it's been cross referenced that you pay the tenor and you'll get the four horses within moments. And then you can go about your business and back them singles, doubles, trebles, jockey 15s, or whatever. They've all got outstanding chances. And remember what I've always told you my emerald bets are my strongest possible recommendations. Okay. Right, we need to get on, and I'm going to get on. I'm going to take you straight to Ireland, and I'm going to go to Tremor. It's not an emerald bet. It's a mainline YouTube bet, but make no mistake, these are strong as well. Last uh, Friday, of course, I gave you two horses in Ireland. One what won at 18 to 1, and the other one absolutely bolted as well at 10 to 1, uh, paying 180 to 1 plus double both of them in Ireland, and over the weekend, I gave you another big winner, which was seven to one into five to one. And then, of course, this week already, we've had one a horse called A Great View, which won at six to one into nine to two. They're not the only horses which have been winning or placing at huge prices, and many, many, many of them are in Ireland. But I'm not just an Irish specialist, as you've seen yesterday with those Newcastle bets. Bang, bang, within an hour, you've got two each way bets. Almost Omino's there, both finished in second, never could lose any money, always going to win something back with the double as well, so job done. All right, so you get the lot here, you got the Irish, the English, the all-weather, everything, but my Irish information is absolutely par excellence, and it absolutely mints it big time, but you've already seen that, and you already know that, all right? So let's go now to the first free bet of the day. Remember, the Emerald bets are four for a tenner. All the rules and instructions are just below in the description. Get yourselves on board and get those four very powerful bets. Three at Leopardstown and one at Tremor. All big chances, all winners waiting to happen. OK, number 10, uh, this horse is called Craig L. Craig L. Craig, I think, means having a good time. And Ale, I think it's something to do with the Lord and Master, him above. Well, in the... 1849. That's a 649 at Tremor on Thursday. Remember, the 17th of August. I'm very keen on this horse. I, I really am. It's number 10. It's called Craig L. That's C R I C C, the crack, and E I L E. So that's how you spell it C R A I C and then E I L E. Craig L. Now, this horse is trained by David Kenneth Buds, which doesn't mean too much, and I'm not too worried about that what I, I am saying that uh, the jockey's been replaced who rode it last time out at Kilbaggan which was a guy called Shane Fitzgerald who in my opinion didn't ride it very well but it's got a jockey on now who's going to really ride it well called Mark McDonough now Mark McDonough again a very unknown jockey but he's been riding winners for fun he really has he's rode three of his last 10 horses have all done the business and all absolutely bolted up that's for sure he's being booked to ride by lots of trainers now and he's a five pound claimer and that five pound claim is worth 10 pounds because he's really really good and uh, I think this horse is going to go close, that's for sure. It's won twice before, Craig Allen. I backed it twice when it's won. And both of them, incidentally, was at this meeting, Tremor. It really loves this track. It loves everything about it. And this jockey will bring out the best in it, no question about it. Runs off a mark of 98. When it won before, Craig Hell, and excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it, absolutely spot on it raced off a mark of 109 and that was at Tremor a couple of years ago and funny enough Shane Fitzgerald rode it that day but there's no question in my mind that this young five pound claimer Mark McDonough is a man to be on tomorrow on this one number 10 Craig L and there we go it's in the 649 at the meeting at Tremor where it is a course specialist 
and has won off £10 higher and it's got £5 to boot on top of it as well. So it's it's really, really well in at the weights and uh, I, I think it's coming to hand and keep your eye close on that horse. It's a big one. So if you had the four emerald bets for the discounted price of £10, like most people are doing, then you'll be able to put that one in it as well if you wanted to. And you could have yourself a lucky 31 or you can double and treble them up and, and, and then you give yourself even more chance of having a, a huge payday, as they say. Right. So with all that in mind, now, you know what you're doing there. Now I'm going to give you two horses which run down south in London or London Way. They run at Windsor and they're in the seven o'clock and they're in the 5.30. I'm going to go for the seven o'clock first. And the horse I'm very sweet on there is, a, a, I'm just looking at it, it's priced at nine to one in the early morning or the early afternoon exchanges on the odds checker. It's number six, it's called Metal Merchant, Metal Merchant. Now it's trained by Jack Shannon, son of Mick, and ridden by Kieran Schumacher. Kieran gets on it for the first time. And I believe this horse is, a, a, again, a winner waiting to happen and has got a lot better form than it looks on paper. Uh, I think the mark of 89 is a very much a winning mark. And on its run last time up when it ran at uh, Goodwood, that was a good run. 10 to 1. It finished 5th of 17 behind a horse called Novus. It was a good performance. Ryan Moore, top jockey, of course, Ryan. But he couldn't get a gap on this horse that day. The colt could not get through. And Ryan Moore had to sit and suffer. Else it might well have won. It might well have won. So it's almost a winner without a penalty. And this race certainly looks a lot easier tomorrow night. Uh, 0 to 90 rated. And I'm all over it. I really am. It's a big prize, that nine to one. And I'll be disappointed if it's not in the first three. I think they're actually paying out first four. Uh, so it, look, it looks a gift wrap, chap, ch gift wrap chance or guilt hedge chance for sure. Number six, Metal Merchant anyway, trained by Jack Shannon. He's doing really well since he took over the stable from his father. I'm sure Mick's still uh, having a lot to say behind the scenes. But it's going well. 31 winners altogether this year. And uh, long may it continue. Well done. So... Metal Merchant, number six, each way, a big price, nines, tens, and one to be on each way. And I, I would suggest also the back this last horse I'm going to give you now, the final one, and have these two in a double at Windsor. And I wouldn't be surprised if it come up. But even if they're both in the frame, it's going to pay about eight to one. And I'll be disappointed if they're not in the first four and somewhat surprised, to be honest with you. So I'm going to give you this one now. This is the last bet of the session. And then I'll return to you on Thursday at six o'clock for Friday's bets. And that's how it works. I'm sure you're understanding. Getting nearly 3,000 views a day now. So the line and the channel's trending. I want to thank you all very much indeed for following me. And I hope you're impressed and suitably are. I know a lot of people are back in a lot of winners. And a lot of horses come in second and third at huge prices. And that's what it's all about. So we're minimising the downside and maximising the upside. We've got no long losing runs whatsoever. They don't exist. I'm not having any long losing runs. I'm back in a lot of winners. And uh, just keep the... Uh, Keep the flag flying. It's as simple as that. All right. The final bet of the day. Don't forget them four emeralds. Most people are getting on them. Don't be on your own. Don't forget them. Just follow the instructions below and uh, you'll get yourselves those four bets for just £10, £2.50 each. Final bet of Thursday for you, free of charge. You've already had Krekel and uh, you've already had the other horse I've just mentioned to you, which is Metal Merchant. Now I'm going to give you one in the 5.30 at Windsor. Number three, it's called Call Me Ginger. Call Me Ginger, trained by Jim Goldie and ridden by Hayley Turner. Well, I've got my eye on this horse for some time, I can tell you. It ran at Ascot on the 29th of July and finished 4th of 14. It was a good run, that behind a horse called Intrinsic Bond. Very good run indeed. Uh, Amy Woff rode the horse that day. No disrespect to Amy. She's a five-pound claimer. And this time she's getting a very strong girl jockey on it, lady jockey Hayley Turner, to replace it. Before that, it finished fifth of eight at Air under Paul Morell and sixth of eight at Doncaster and so on and so forth. I'm not interested in those form. What I'm interested in, the horse has tumbled down the weights from 92 in May down to 84. It's dropped eight pounds and it's got everything in its favour for this race at Windsor tomorrow night. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't go very close and somewhat gutted if it doesn't win. It's number three, Call Me Ginger. It is ready to strike. It's ready to pop up. Everything's in its favour. Point, 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 point. They're all ticking the boxes on this one. Call Me Ginger. And it's in the 5.30 at Windsor. Seven o'clock at Windsor, Metal Merchant. You've got the other horse I've told you about, Craig Kell, in the 6.49 at Tremor. 
Uh, three very interesting bets as well. They don't run till late tomorrow, so that's exciting. And indeed, the Leopardstown bets on the Emerald don't run till late. So we're going to go for the late, late show. The late, late show. My fingers, late, late, late show. All right? Four for a tenner. You know what it's all about. If you want to win big, invest. Invest in winners. I'll see you at six tomorrow.